first of all thanks for being here in my youtube channel so in this lesson number two on the topic time and work we are going to concentrate one of the most important concept where the problems that is based on efficiency so friends everyone knows what is the meaning of efficiency right uh, more efficient less efficient for example uh, if you are completing a task in 10 days assume that uh, you are taking uh, 10 days to paint this room so if i am more efficient than you then i would take definitely less than 10 days right so there are two important concepts one is more efficient or otherwise less efficient more efficient is more speed assume like this right or less efficient is less number of speed right and uh, if you want to solve a question in time and work that is based on efficiency only thing is you should know the concept 100 percent the basic concept 100 percentage if you know the concept correctly then solving the toughest question becomes so so simple so friends i'm just going to teach you a uh, five important points so after solving all the five important points then we can move on to the question right so after watching all five or six different question in this video take your books and try to solve more number of question that is based on efficiency right so friends now let me move on to point number one so a is two times efficient than b so friends point number one is a is two times efficient than b twice efficient or two times efficient so friends listen carefully there are two person one is a and the second person is b got it for example i am saying if b completes a task in 10 days so b is completing a work in 10 days for example then how many days will a work to complete a task in this point number one listen carefully a is two times efficient if a is two times efficient then definitely a will complete a work in five days because five into two the resultant will be ten so a is two times efficient than b that means if b completes a task in 10 days then a will complete a task in five days so got the point friends if you write this in terms of x listen carefully if a is x days then b should be 2x days so friends most important so in case number one we have assumed that b is 10 days right so for example if b completes a work in 10 days because of a two times efficient so we are saying that a completes a task in five days so if you want to write the same expression in terms of x listen carefully a completes a task in x days b completes a task in 2x days because when you substitute x is equal to 5 then b will be 10 so if you substitute x is equal to 10 then b will be 20 so from this point we can easily say that a is two times efficient than b so let me move on to point number two so a is thrice efficient than b or three times efficient than b right so listen carefully friends if b completes a task in 30 days example i'm saying if b completes a task in 30 days then how much days a will complete a task because we know that a is thrice efficient if a is thrice efficient then we can say that 10 days a will complete a work because 10 into 3 resultant will be 30 right so if 10 into 3 is equal to 30 then a will complete a task in 10 days so a is thrice efficient than b so b would take 30 days and a would take 10 days if you want to write the same expression in terms of x then we can easily say that if a is equal to x then b is equal to 3x so which is most important this is in terms of x right so a is three times efficient than b if x is equal to 5 then b is equal to 15 if x is equal to 10 then b is equal to 30 got the point friends so let me move on to point number three so a is four times efficient than b if a is four times efficient the for example we can take b is completing a task in 20 days right so if b completes a task in 20 days we know that a is four times efficient so four times efficient so five into four will be 20 so we can say that a takes five days to complete a work if b takes 20 days to complete a work because a is four times efficient than b so a completes a task in five days and b completes a task in 20 days so if you want to write the expression in terms of x listen carefully a completes a task in x days so b completes a task in 4x days because a is four times efficient than b so simple logic friends right so friends understood all the three points are most important still we have two points to go point number four a is 50 percentage more efficient than b 
so friends in all the three points above three points we are talking about twice the efficiency or two times the efficiency three times the efficiency but in this case where the efficiency is based upon percentage right so a is 50 percentage more efficiency and friends there are a various method to solve a question if the question that is based upon percentage so my suggestion is if you are a beginner what you need to do is apply a simple logic listen carefully if there are two person a and b right so a is 50 percentage more efficient means b is 150 percentage then a is 100 percentage a simple logic so this idea will definitely help you to crack all the question again i am saying there are lots of shortcuts to solve a question that is based upon efficiency if you go for some tough level question in that case shortcut won't help you only the right methodology will help you so only i am not at all teaching any shortcut this is the idea that will help you to for all the toughest questions right listen carefully a is 50 percentage more efficient if b is 150 a should be 100 percentage that means a is 50 percentage more efficient than b don't wrongly write like this 150 percentage here and 100 percentage here this is wrong this is not the right method right so a should be 100 percentage b should be 150 that means a is 50 percentage more efficient than b got the point friends if a is 80 percentage more efficient that means b should be 180 a should be 100 if a is 90 percentage more efficient that means b should be 190 a should be 100 right so most important logic again i am saying there are more methods to solve this point number four my suggestion i just proceed like this so that you can crack the some toughest level question also right okay friends point number five a takes 50 percentage more time than b listen here here question based on more efficiency but here the point based on more time what is the meaning of more time more time is for example if b takes x days right so a takes assume that if b takes x days to complete a work similarly a takes x days to complete a work then we can say that both of them completing a work in equal number of days right if b takes 10 days to complete a work a is also taking 10 days what is the logic behind this a and b both are taking equal number of days to finish a work but here a takes 50 percentage more time that means x plus 50 percentage of x so friends simple logic listen carefully if b takes x days to complete a work a takes x days plus 50 percentage of x that means a takes 50 percentage more than compared to b simple logic friends and most important these two points that is point number four and point number five will always help you to solve some of the toughest level question right in this a is 50 percentage more efficient if it is more efficient based upon percentage then b should be 150 a should be 100 and point number five that is based upon more time more time is additional time 50 percentage if b is x then a will be x plus additional 50 percentage that is 50 percentage of x so a takes 50 percentage more time when compared to b so friends let me move on to all the five question that is based upon uh, this five points so that once you watch all the five question clearly then uh, solving a question based on efficiency becomes so simple question number one so a is twice as good as workman as b so friends the meaning is good as workman that means he can be a fast worker or otherwise more efficient so let me keep that line as a more efficient so a is twice more efficient than b and b is twice more efficient than c if a and b can together finish a piece of work in four days then c can do it himself in so friends listen carefully totally there are three person one is a and the second person is b and the third person is c so friends in point number one i have clearly explained you how to write in terms of x right listen carefully a is twice as good as work minus b that means a is twice efficient than b so when you assume that x days a complete a work for example if x days a completes a work then we can say that a is two times efficient than b so we can say that b will complete a work in two x days and then point number two b is two times efficient than c so if b is 2x then c will be 4x so simple logic in the basics i have clearly explained you right so a took x days to complete a work a is two times efficient than b so b will be 2x 
so b is two times efficient than c so we can say that c is equal to 4x right so, so listen carefully x into 2 will be 2x right so 2x into 2 will be 4x so a is two times efficient than b and b is two times efficient than c so we can say that a took x days to complete a work b will take two x days to complete a work and c will take four x days to complete a work and another point if a and b can together finish a piece of work in four days listen carefully a and b completes a task in four days that is one by four one day work will be one by four so our target to find how much days c alone take to complete a work so friends we know that a will take x days to complete a work so a will be 1 by x and b takes 2x days to complete a work so b will be 1 by 2x as equals to 1 by 4. So 2x and x when you take LCM as 2x here it will be 2 and 1 is equals to 1 by 4. So the numerator 2 plus 1 will be 3. So 3 divided by 2x is equal to 1 by 4. So when you cancel this becomes 2 times so x is equal to 6. So friends, finally, we found the value x is equal to 6. But our target to find, then C can do it by himself. And that means our target to find C alone, how much days takes to complete a work. We already know that C takes 4x days to complete a work. And we found x is equal to 6 days. So we can say that 6 into 4 will be 24. So finally, C alone can take 24 days to complete a work. In case, if they ask how much days B alone took to complete a work, that means B will be 2x days. We know x is equal to 6. So 6 into 2 will be 12. So B alone take 12 days to complete a work. And A alone take 6 days to complete a work. And C alone takes 24 days to complete a work. And based upon the question, they are asking C, right? So we can say that 24 days C alone can complete this piece of work. So friends, interesting question and solving a question is so, so simple. Just you need to know how to assume the values, right? So if A is X, B will be 2X because A is 2 times efficient than B. And B is 2 times efficient than C. Question number 2. So A and B together can do a work in 12 days. So B and C together can do a work in 15 days. If A's efficiency is twice that of C, then the days required for B alone to complete a work. So friends, interesting question. Listen carefully, our target to find B alone, how much days it takes to complete a work. And the point is A and B together can complete a piece of work in 12 days. Similarly, B and C will complete a piece of work in 15 days. And the important point is A's efficiency is twice that of C, right? So let me do one thing. First of all, first given point is A and B can complete a piece of work in 12 days. So one day work will be 1 by 12. So point number 1. So let me assume this is equation number 1. And the second is B and C together can complete a task in 15 days. So B and C one day work will be 1 by 15. Take it as equation number 2. And the next point is A's efficiency is twice that of C. So they are comparing A and C that is A efficiency is twice that of C. That means when you assume that A completes a work in X days then C will be 2X days. Right. So A completes a task in X days and A is 2 times efficient than C. And our target to find how much days B alone takes to complete a work. So friends, listen here friends, we can do one thing. We can uh, subtract equation number 1 and 2. So when you subtract equation number 1 and 2, so minus, minus and minus, when we can cancel plus B and minus B. So remaining will be A minus C. So A minus C is equals to, so 1 by 12 minus 1 by 15. So 1 by 12 minus 1 by 15. So A minus C is equals to, so 15 and 12. I think uh, 15 and 12 will be a, uh, 60 right when you take 60 as LCM 15 12 into 5 so this becomes 5 and 15 into 4 so we can say that a minus c is equals to 1 by 60 so listen carefully friends a minus c is equal to 1 by 60 but our target to find b alone how much time it takes to complete a work we already know that a takes x days to complete a work and C days, 2x days to complete a work. So let me substitute all the values here. So A will be 1 by x minus of C. So C will be 1 by 2x is equals to 1 by 60. So when you take LCM as 2x, this will be 2 minus 1, 1 by 60. So 1 by 2x, so 1 by 2x is equal to 1 by 60. So when you cancel this, x is equal to 30. 
so finally we got x is equal to 30 days but our target to find b alone how much time it takes to complete a work so let me do one thing uh, we can substitute uh, a here because we know a will be x days and we found x is equal to 30 so now we can say that a takes 30 days to complete a work so friends listen carefully a takes 30 days to complete a work so let me substitute 30 days instead of a so that we can find what is the value of b so i can uh, rub this area so i can rub this okay so friends first equation that is a so instead of a we know that a took 30 days to complete a work so one day work of a will be 1 by 30 so plus b is equals to 1 by 12 so b is equals to 1 by 12 minus 1 by 30 so we can take lcm as uh, 60 right so when you take lcm as 60 so 12 5 are 60 here it is 5 so minus of 30 into 2 will be 60 so here it is 2 so 5 minus 2 divided by 60 3 by 60 so 3 by 60 which is 3 by 60 that is 1 by 20 so we can say that b alone takes 20 days to complete a work a simple question concept is also simple only thing is initially you need to know where to put x and where to put 2x because a is two times efficient than c so if a completes a task in x days then c will be 2x days in case if they ask uh, c alone how much days he takes to complete a work we know that x is equal to 30 and a is equal to 30 days c is equal to 2x days when you substitute x is equal to 30 here then we can say that c takes 60 days to complete a work and b takes 20 days to complete a work so finally for question number two we got an answer that is b is equal to 20 days question number three so asha and babu can do a job together in seven days Asha is 1 3 by 4 times as efficient as Babu. The same job can be done by Asha alone. Is. So friends, interesting question that is based on efficiency. There are two persons. One is Asha and the second is Babu. right? And the first point they are saying that Asha and Babu together can complete a piece of work in 7 days. That means Asha and Babu can be, do a piece of work in 7 days which is 1 by 7. One day work will be 1 by 7. And then point number 2 where Asha is 1 3 by 4. That is 1 3 by 4 times as efficient than Babu. So friends let me do one thing. You can keep Asha as X days. So Asha completes a task in X days. So Babu will complete a task in 1 3 by 4 X days. So friends clear on the concept and the same logic right if a completes a task in x days if a is twice efficient what we actually used to do x days and 2x similarly here asha is 1 3 by 4 times efficient than babu so we can say that asha is x babu will be 1 3 by 4 x so this can be written as x and uh, when you convert this mixed fraction so 4 into 1 will be 4 so 4 plus 3 will be 7 so 7 by 4 x days or otherwise this can be written as when you cross this so asha will be 4x days and babu will be 7x days so finally we can say that asha can complete a piece of work in 4 days and babu can complete a piece of work in 7 days but our target to find uh, the same job can be done in asha alone so let me do one thing we can substitute the values in terms of asha and babu we can find what is the value of x right so asha 1 divided by 4x plus babu babu will be 7x is equals to 1 by 7 so when you take lcm is 28x 7 and uh, x into 11 so 4x 1 by 7 so 11 divided by 28 x is equal to 1 by 7 when you cross this this becomes 4 times so we can say that x is equal to 11 by 4 so finally we got an answer x is equal to 11 by 4 but our target to find the same job can be done by asha alone right so we need to find asha alone how much days it takes to complete a work we know that asha alone takes 4x days to complete a work and we found the value of x is equal to 11 by 4 so when you substitute here 4 into 11 by 4 so we can say that 11 days so asha alone can complete a piece of work in 11 days so finally answer for question number three will be 11 days so most interesting question and only thing is you need to know how to write this correctly 
right and all the previous question we wrote like uh, a is two times efficient than b so what we actually did is x days and two x days but in this question a is that is asha is one three by four times efficient than babu so asha is x days babu will be one three by four x days so we have converted the mixed fraction into a fraction that is seven by four x then when you cross this so four x and seven x so asha will complete a piece of work in four x and the babu will complete a piece of work in seven x so finally we got an answer that is 11 days asha alone can complete a piece of work question number four a can do a piece of work in 70 days and b is 40 percentage more efficient than a the number of days taken by b to do the same work is so friends this question is based on percentage efficiency in the basics i have told you if it comes under percentage efficiency use a simple logic right it will be easy to solve a question listen carefully a can do a piece of work in 70 days so in this question totally there are two person one is a and the second person is b and a can do a piece of work in 70 days so a completes a piece of work in 70 days we don't know how many days B required to complete a work but the thing is B is 40 percentage more efficient than A listen carefully B is 40 percentage more efficient than A in the basics what I have told you if this is 140 percentage then this will be 100 percentage so friends got the logic now B is 40 percentage more efficient than a simple concept because if you learn shortcuts and if you learn some formula method you will confuse a lot while solving this question so the simple idea is if a is 140 percentage b will be 100 percentage then only we can say that b is 40 percentage more efficient than a now we can say that 140 percentage is equal to 70 so 140 percentage is equals to 70 so 100 percentage is equal to x so 100 percentage is equal to x now you cross this right we have already learned all these uh, techniques and component test and for simple interest now we can cancel percentage percentage we can cancel 0 and 0 so when you cross this 14 x is equal to 7 into 100 so 1 7s are 7 7 2s are 14 1 2s are 2 50 so finally we can say that x is equal to 50 days that means b alone can complete a piece of work in 50 days so friends simple concept so understand the concept clearly once you understand it solving all the question becomes so so simple similarly if we is 60 percentage more efficient keep 100 here keep 160 here solving question becomes simple last fifth question to complete a work a takes 50 percentage more time than b if together they take 18 days to complete a work how much time shall we take to do it so friends this question is based on 50 percentage more time right not more efficiency it's based on more time i think in the basic itself we have told you how to frame an equation if the question that is based upon more time and here they have given a point that together they take 18 days to complete a work that means a and b together they take 18 days that is 1 by 18 so one day work will be 1 by 18 and point number one is a takes 50 percentage more time than b that means when you assume b is equal to x let me assume b is equal to x if a is also x then it becomes equal number of time right if b completes a task in 10 days a is also 10 days then we can say that a and b both are taking equal number of time to complete a task but the question says a takes 50 percentage more time so we can say that x plus 50 percentage of x so this denotes a is taking 50 percentage more time when compared to b so now we need to solve this and you need to find uh, what they ask how much time shall b alone take to do it so now we need to solve this question and we need to find uh, the b alone how much time it takes listen carefully friends we can solve this uh, left hand side part alone so this can be written as x plus 50 by 100 into x on the right hand side so b will be x right so when you cancel this becomes 1 by 2 so x plus 1 by 2 x and here it is x so when you cross this 2x plus x will be 3x so 3x by 2 will be number of days a takes to complete a work and b will be x days right or otherwise this can be written as 3x and 2x right when you cross 2 here this becomes 2x and here the numerator will be 3x so finally we can say that a alone can complete a task in 3x days and b alone can complete a task in 2x days our target to find how much days b alone can take so let me substitute here so when you substitute a is equal to 1 by 3x b is equal to 1 by 2x is equals to 1 by 18 
LCM will be 6x so this becomes 2 and this becomes 3 so numerator will be 5 is equal to 1 by 18 when you cross this 6 3s are 18 so x is equal to 15 so finally we got an answer x is equal to 15 but our target to find b we already know that b takes 2x time to complete a work so b is equals to 2x so 2 into 15 is equals to 30 days so finally we can say that b alone takes 30 days to complete a work so finally for the last fifth question we got an answer that is 30 days so friends only thing is you need to know how to write this equation right so this is most important so once you write this correctly in case 40 percentage more time 70 percentage more time all under comes under the same logic right so friends finally in this uh, lesson number two we have solved five different questions that is based on efficiency and more time so friends the thing is once you understand the concept 100 percentage kindly take your books and try to solve more number of questions that is based on efficiency so once you practice uh, 10 to 20 questions based upon this pattern then solving all the questions that is based on efficiency becomes so simple so after practicing a medium question go to the i question level like cat question sba po question so that you will get an idea so friends thank you so much for watching this video and if you really like it share this to your friends also who are preparing for competitive exams Bye.